We're joined today by Stuart McKellian, Managing Director of Burley Minerals. Stuart, thanks for your time. Thank you very much for having me today, David. It's all about the Chubb Lithium Project in Quebec, Canada. Why the focus and what have you been doing? Well, great, Dave. Look, um, we picked up Chubb uh, earlier this year uh, in February. Uh, Chubb is just outside of Val d'Or, Quebec. Val d'Or is the Kalgoorlie of Quebec, a long history of gold mining. So it's about 30 Ks outside. We've got about 1,500 hectares, over 35 mineral claims. We started drilling in April of this year. There was a cessation of drilling in Quebec because of the wildfires. I'm sure that you're familiar and many are. We had to pull rig, but that wasn't a really big deal for us because, you know, again, we're, we, we're just outside of Val d'Or, so it's pick up and, and walk home effectively. So drilling uh, recommenced at the beginning of July after the heavy equipment ban was lifted, and we smashed through our first, our initial program. We managed to finish 5,200 meters by the end of July. We stopped, we did some geophysics in August, we did some more uh, mapping and geochemistry in some other areas around our claims, reconsidered our approach and whatnot, and started drilling again in late August. To date, we have finished more than 9,000 meters of drilling this year, and it has been great. We're hitting spodumene, uh, spodumene bearing uh, pegmatite dikes at Chubb Central. We've got two target areas, Chubb Central and Chubb North now. And I'll get to that in a minute. Chubb Central has been a long, well-evaluated, or not so well-evaluated, known uh, mineralization. We've got spodumene-bearing pegmatite dikes sticking out of the ground. Plain as day to see big spodumene crystals, green, very apparent. We've been following these dikes, we've been drilling into them. It's a mineralization zone that it's at least 600 meters on strike, probably somewhere between 250 meters plus in width, several numerous spodumene dikes, or uh, pegmatite dikes rather, starts to dip down to the south under cover, starts to dip down to start to fall under cover to the east as well. So naturally for us, and as part of that geophysics survey was, let's determine where there are some other targets. Can we pick up some structural anomalies to the south and to the east, which we did with the geophysics survey. That was a uh, ambient noise tomography uh, geophysics survey. So we have identified some structural anomalies at depth, which we are going to drill. We are looking to expand the known mineralization zone at Chubb Central. In addition, and this is great, up to the north end of Chubb, which is about, hmm, about a few kilometers from Chubb Central, is what we're calling Chubb North. Now, I was back at Chubb in, in July and had a look around and we went for a drive up around this whole area. It's been logged recently, so it was easy enough to get around and logging tracks throughout. Again, our claims are only three kilometers from a sealed road, so it's super easy to get to. And again, 30 kilometers from Val d'Or, a beautiful hotel, you know, fantastic people and whatnot, very accommodating drillers, geos, service providers, you name it, it's all there. Nonetheless, I'm, diver I'm diverging. We were back up at Chubb Central and I said to the geo, I said, what about all these big pegmatites sticking out of the ground? And he said, look, no one's really looked that hard at them because we, we don't know if they're, if they're fertile. I said, let's check that out, shall we? He goes, yeah, let's check it out. So we sent one of our geos from Perth. And now Emily is a protege of Dave Crook. Dave Crook's on our board. Dave Crook is an LCT pegmatite expert. If you want to learn about LCT pegmatites, you talk to Dave Crook. Dave Crook is very much into his geochemistry. Emily is a protege of Dave's. Emily goes over, she has it, remaps the area, takes her XRF out, starts taking measurements, comes back, says, guys, Chubb North is fertile. Chubb North is a related system to Chubb Central. It's just bigger. It's much bigger. Big pegmatites sticking out of the ground, a few hundred meters long, 100 meters wide, bulbous white rock. And she's saying the geochemistry in these rocks 
is prime for lithium mineralization. Let's go and drill it. So, get the permits going by the end of, July, end of August, rather, and into September, when we started to get a few holes in there just to see what's happening. Preliminary drilling. Are we hitting the pegmatites? How deep do they go? What's happening? Can we get some more geochemistry? Nonetheless, we get the drill results back. We had to stop drilling just a little bit more than a week ago because it's uh, moose hunting season. So we pulled the rig out and everybody else because the drillers are going hunting, frankly. And, um, and of course, you don't want to be doing exploration in the bush when you know people are using guns. But nonetheless, a small cessation of drilling right now, which has allowed us now to go through the data that we have collected from that preliminary drilling program at Chubb North. And the geos are looking at it. Nonetheless, I think it's looking great. We are planning more drilling at Chubb North. We are also planning more drilling at Trump Central. We've got something here, folks, and I think it looks great, you know. I was gonna say, where to from here? You've obviously got an exciting project at Chubb Central. Chubb North is a new opportunity that wasn't on the radar. Where to from here? What's the plan? Okay, well, I'm heading to Quebec tomorrow night. So I'm, uh, I'm going to meet with our geos and our contractors, our drillers and service providers primarily, but we're planning a new system. We're planning a, a, a drilling program to take us to the end of the calendar year, of course, as winter moves quickly into this neck of the woods, and then also a winter drilling program. There are some areas of Chubb, which are under, uh, you know, or sitting on rather a, a bit, bit of uh, overburden, but are a bit swampy which makes winter drilling much better. So we can get on there, the ground freezes over, we can push the rig onto it, and it makes it much easier to get to some of these targets that were identified with the ANT geophysics survey in the sort of wet, swampier zones. So that's a program we're gonna uh, complete rather later or early in the new calendar year. But we've got some more work to do right now. Again, we're gonna resume drilling up at Chubb North. There's a couple holes we're gonna finish off. And again, we're permitting some additional drilling up at Chubb North. Very excited about what's happening there. Again, Chubb North, pure exploration. Geo geochemistry looks great. Try to understand what's happening structurally with these rocks. Try to get a better understanding of the geochemistry. And of course, we're looking for lithium mineralization here. Chubb Central, again, I'm looking for parallel dikes from the existing mineralized zone, and I'm looking for extension of the mineralized zone to the south. So we've got a lot of work to do at, uh, at Chubb. And well funded, have you got the money to do what you want to do? Yeah, absolutely. No, we're, we're sitting in a very strong cash position right now. As, uh, as many of our investors know, we, we, uh, we raised money earlier in the year through the Canadian flow through system. That is that we are committed to spending that money in Quebec and Canada. So I intend to spend it. And I'm going to spend it well on drilling, assays, geology, we are going to figure out what's going on with these rocks. M&A, there's a lot of it happening in the lithium sector. We're seeing big players moving downstream, down into explorers that we've never seen before at this sort of level. What are you seeing? Oh, look, you know, we are seeing, I, I can concur that we are seeing a lot of the big end of town looking at, let's call it the small end of town. There's, uh, in my opinion, I think there's a bit of a land grab going on, and it's not just here in WA. It's, it's in Quebec, it's in Ontario, it's in Canada. There's a lot of interest. And I just can under, underscore as well, I mean, look, the, we have got, there's an investment potential in Quebec. I met with the, uh, with the Quebec Investment Group last week. They are pouring money into developing this mineral or strategic minerals business and industry. You know, they're building cathode plants in, in, uh, in uh, Trois-Rivières. They're building a big lithium plant just outside of Montreal. Billions, billions of dollars in investments, long-term investments, big for the economy. So we are seeing a lot of work happening and big commitments. So of course, the big end of town is looking. We love it when the big end of town is looking at the explorers. We love to follow your story. Exciting times ahead for Burley and its shareholders. Stuart, thanks for your time. David, thank you very much.